Welcome back everyone. Moving on to more expressions to simplify. So starting off with number one, we got x to the negative four, y squared to the power of three, all over x to the power of two, y to the negative five. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to simplify this numerator here. So notice the two and the three, we can multiply those. So we'd have y six and then everything else I'm just gonna rewrite as is. And now at this point, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take any negative exponents in this fraction and then just bring them over, flip them over. So this y negative five, I'm gonna bring up to the numerator and this x negative four, I'm gonna bring down to the denominator. So I'll have y to the power of positive five, brought that up, y six, that's still up there because it's positive. And then this I'm gonna bring down, so x four, x two, like that. And now notice that <clears throat> we're multiplying exponents with the same base, so we can add the exponents. So five plus six, that is 11, and that there is x to the power of six. And these are different bases, so you can't simplify that any further. That's the final answer right there. Moving on to number two, we got x to the negative four, y squared, and all of that is to the power of negative one. And then we have x to the power of three, y to the negative two, and all of that is to the power of two. And then this whole fraction is to the power of four. So as I mentioned before, when I have something like this, I like to first simplify what's in the bracket before dealing with that outer exponent. So notice that this whole expression is to the power of negative one. So we could actually bring all of that down, right? And then change that to positive one. But in this case, I'm actually just gonna distribute that exponent here at this point. Because if we bring this down, there's just a lot going on over here already. So I'm gonna distribute the exponents and then I'm gonna work from there. But you can bring this whole expression down, this whole bracket you could bring down if you want and uh, do it that way. I'm gonna keep it up top though. So I'm gonna distribute this negative one into the bracket. So basically everything inside the bracket, so the x to the negative four, that gets taken to the power of negative one. And then this y squared gets taken to the power of negative one. All over, here, this x cubed, I'm gonna distribute this two inside the bracket, so that gets squared, and then this y negative two, that gets squared as well. And then we have this power four on the outside still. So from here, <clears throat> let's uh, simplify this. So negative four times negative one, that gives us positive four. Uh, this here would be y to the negative two, all over, this would be x to the six, and then this would be y to the negative four, and that's gonna be all to the power of four. And then I'm gonna continue this up here. You can just keep writing it uh, below. So notice here, this is a positive exponent, that's a positive exponent, that's a negative exponent, that's a negative exponent. So I'm gonna flip these two. This y negative two, I'm gonna bring down to the denominator, this y negative four we're gonna bring up to the numerator. So I'll have x to the four, x to the six, and then this comes up, so this y uh, has a positive four exponent, and then this has a positive two exponent. And that's gonna be all to the power of positive four. And then from here, let's simplify the exponents with the common base. So this x to the four over x to the six, there's four x's up top, six x's on the bottom, meaning that there are two x's left at the bottom. And then there's four y's up top, two y's at the bottom, meaning there are two y's left at the top after we uh, simplify. And you can see that by subtracting the exponents as well. So if you did four minus six, you would get x to the negative two, and then x to the negative two comes down to the denominator. And then four minus two, that gives you y to the power of positive two. And then from here, you can just distribute this four in the, uh, in the fraction. So the numerator goes to the power of four, and then the denominator goes to the power of four. So we end up having y to the power of eight all over x to the power of eight. 
So that there is the final answer for number two. And then finally, number three, we got 4xy squared. All of that is to the power of two. And then 2x cubed y squared, all to the power of negative two. So in this question, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take this bracket that's to the power of negative two. I'm going to bring it down to the denominator. Right? We didn't do that here with the negative one, but here I'm going to do it because there's no denominator here. Right? So I feel like if we keep it up there, it's just going to be a little bit more hectic. So I'm going to keep this in the numerator, bring this down to the denominator. So 2x cubed y squared, and this is going to be all to the power of 2. And now from here, we can just distribute these two exponents inside the brackets. So everything inside the brackets goes to the power of two, both have an exponent of two. So it'd be four squared, and then we'd have x squared, and then we'd have y squared squared. You should actually put everything in brackets. Um, two gets squared, the x cubed is gonna get squared, and then the y squared is gonna get squared as well. So here we'd have 16x squared y4 all over 4x6y4, right? And then from here, we can simplify. So notice the y4s cancel out, right? 4 minus 4 is just 0, and then y to the power of 0 is just 1. And then um, 16 over 4, that gives us positive 4 in the numerator. And then we have two x's up top, six x's on the bottom, meaning that we have four x's left on the bottom. So that there is the final answer. Now, what if the four was up top and the 16 was on the bottom? Then that would simplify to one over four. So this would end up being one over four x to the four, right? So just be careful with that. But since, uh, since it was 16 over four, we ended up getting four over one, right? Just four. And uh, let's say it was something else, like let's say we had 10 over 8. That simplifies to 5 over 4. So we'd have a 5 in the numerator and then a 4 in the denominator. Right? So just be careful with these coefficients, right, when you simplify them. You're basically just simplifying a fraction. So those are the final answers. Again, there's multiple ways to do these. There's no set way. Right? So for example, I used a different strategy here where I brought this down, but over here I distributed the exponent because I didn't want to bring this down to the denominator and have so much going on in the denominator. But over here you could have just distributed that exponent as well, right? But then you'd have 2 to the negative 2, you'd have to know to bring that down and make it 1 over 2 to the power of 2, which is 1 over 4. Right, so multiple ways to do it. As long as you're getting the correct answer consistently, then you know you're on the right track.